Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Indy and Doug here. Uh, just wanted to make a quick video on a new startup, JJ Axe Handles. Uh, here's, here's one right here just to kind of show you what they look like. The wood is cut from, uh, actually from Tennessee. It's uh, hickory. And then uh, the wood is shipped to uh, Ontario, Canada, where these are actually manufactured. These handles are kiln dried uh, between 12 and 15% moisture content. So that's really good. Now how I got this handle was I actually begged our good buddy over uh, at Chippy Outdoors, Mr. Chippy. Uh, to send me one, uh, I actually had to sign the deed over to my uh, Briscoe ported uh, 4910. But hey, I got an axe handle out of the deal. So hopefully you guys got a good view of that. I'm going to uh, actually measure this so you can kind of get an idea of the size. And I'll show some more close-ups for the quality. But uh, this axe handle is exactly 28 inches long I don't know if you can see that but this particular one here is exactly 28 inches long okay apparently this is their first model of axe and uh it's been uh called the wedge banger so far now they do have a website that they just uh threw up on the internet there um I don't know if uh, it's complete or if it's ready to order from or what, but uh, I'll link that down in the description. Um, if, if, if anyone's interested after watching this video. So anyway, here's the, uh, the axe handle itself. And I actually got a, uh, another one here <laughs> and I, uh, hafted uh, the head on it so just to kind of show you how that looks with the head I just put a light finish of uh, Killinger snake juice on this they're a real super light um, but this uh, this head here actually came from Mr. John Arnett and was gifted to Charles Briscoe. And then the handle came from Chippy. And I believe uh, Jay may have given it to Chippy. <laughs> Don't quote me on that. And then, um, and I hafted the, and I hafted the, the ax. So, but if you wanna kinda see, just just something real simple. It's, this is oak, oak here, oak wedge. Uh, just something that's about a three and a quarter pound head, I'd say. But uh, this is going to be a nice wedge banger for Mr. Charles Briscoe. So I believe it was Jay, then Chippy on the handle. Then the head was Mr. Arnett. And then I hafted it. So, so when I see Mr. Briscoe, I'll give that to him and... Uh, Kind of a community effort there so that's what it's all about right okay so let's talk a little bit about what i what i like about these handles the first thing i really like and the biggest thing that i really like is the size of the eye here okay i'll get a lot of handles and the eye this part will be too small. Um, so if you want to put a bigger a, a, a axe head with a bigger uh, eye on it, you can't do it. So that that's one major, that's actually the most important thing to me with with these. What I, what kind of stuck out like, wow, that's what I'm talking about. I can put, you know, anything on it. Because this is a 28 inch handle. A lot of 20 inch, inch handles uh, you have to go to like a French curve or something bigger uh, and more boutique, if you will, to get this bigger, you know, fatter uh, eye. Okay, so that was that was the the biggest thing that I really liked about this, because you know if it's big, you can just you know shave it down and 
craft it how you want to any size. If it's too small, then you're limited to what head you can put on it. The other thing is the actual thickness of the handle. Now, I don't like thick handles per se. I do on wedge bangers, but I don't like thick handles really per se. But the good thing is this is unfinished and you can craft this exactly how you want it. So you can get it thinner or octagon or whatever you want to do. Again, if it's thinner already, you're limited. Uh, the uh, other thing I noticed is the green orientation is just fantastic on these. Hopefully you're getting that there. It's I, I, I tried really hard to, because, you know, this is a basic stick, but it's, you know, this is a working man stick is what this is, like for a wedge banger. And I, I tried really hard to critique it, uh, to find some, uh, find a flaw. The only thing I could come up with, the only like concern, it's not really a flaw, but it's a concern. If you have a really wide ax head, uh, you're going to have some trouble here on the shoulder part. Um, because this only go down so far, this only go down so far before it starts curving here. See, I like to see either the shoulder area come down, more, you know, thicker here, or th that it just be extended a little bit long. Another inch would be perfect. For example, this, you know, this is a rather thin head here. And this, is, this was actually only taken off about a half of an inch, quarter of an inch maybe, right here. So I really was, I was scared of that. You know, you don't need that part, but typically when I hang an ax, it, you know, it'll stick out an inch or two, you know, and th then you just cut it off. And, and that's as proud as I could actually get this. So that's the only concern that, you know, that I had have with these see for example see you know this is uh you know this is uh almost four inches here see so if you were to want to hang a wider head like that on there you're going to come down to that J and that's, see, that's, you're going to come down to right before that J right there and see, it's already started to curve down. So, and you won't have, and that's, you know, you won't have anything left here. So, you know, honestly, your head's, you're going to want your head about no more than three inches. This uh, head that I put on here is two and a half inches. You might be able to get away with three inch head there on this, so uh, wide. So, but again, that's me just being nitpicky and you know trying to trying to find a flaw. And again, not their fault because this is a wedge banger. You're not going to put a tazzy on a wedge banger handle typically that I know of. Just wanted to let everybody know that there's a new company out there offering some really nice handles for really good price. Um, again, they're just starting up here. Great guys. I know I know them uh, through through the YouTube community and uh, seem like very good good people so far. That you know, um, Jay's real good people and Janelle his wife. They're just just great people and. Uh, I wish them only the best on this, and I'll definitely be one of their customers. So uh, if you're needing uh, right now a wedge banger, nice quality wedge banger, Tennessee Hickory, go check out uh, JJX Handles. I'll leave the link in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.